Hi guys, welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. Now if you haven't already, please ensure you join the Discord, the link is below. We have a, quite a strong Fallout 76 community in there already, of over 1300 members. Now today's video comes from a comment I got on one of my last videos on which walls are the strongest, so we thought we'd test this. As you can see, we have all five types of walls, the wood, barn, sheet metal, brick and steel walls. Now all we're going to do is throw four frag grenades against each wall. It's a very simple test just to show exactly how much it drops from a frag grenade. Obviously it will change if you were to use mini nukes, everything else, just to give a quick example. After that we're going to use a high level melee weapon to show how much it takes to actually destroy those structures as well. So let's quickly jump in and we'll get through it one by one. Now first up we have the standard wooden wall which everyone starts with and the barn set. Now the barn set can be purchased by vendors. I've heard that you can actually find it as well. You can see already the grenades are mashing through these quite quickly and you'll be surprised when the melee weapon comes up later as well. Now it's not going to take a lot to get through this at all. Now people will probably wonder what, what's the point in this. No one's going to actually smash a base up. If you're near a, a super mutant camp or a feral guild camp and you're using grenades they throw at your base. Trust me, it's happened to me plenty of times. The place where I build, I've got both sets who roam this area and I've come back to my base in quite a bad shape. So you can see from the four grenades there, the walls are quite bad. Now we move on to the sheet metal and the brick. Now theoretically, these should last a lot longer than the wood. So we'll fire four of these as well. We are finding a problem where our grenades are glitching a little bit. So you'll see more than four being thrown, but only four are actually going to blow up. So bear that in mind when you're watching. Now, it's key to note that the brick set is also purchased by vendors. I haven't found it anywhere yet. I may be wrong. If you know where to find the actual blueprint for it itself, or the plan, should I say, let me know in the comments below. However, so far I've not managed to find it in the wasteland itself. But I haven't finished every mission, so there's quite a big possibility you'll be able to get it. So you can see already, these aren't taking as much damage as the wooden walls. So the theory is there but they're taking quite a lot of damage for what I would say a grenade should do. So you can see they're very much probably a third higher. Now moving on to the steel wall. Now this should really hold up against the grenades but surprisingly it takes quite a bit of damage in my opinion for a grenade anyway. For me, a grenade shouldn't even really touch this. It, sh it should be a non-existent. For me, it should be more mini nukes and missiles that should use for metal steel walls. But again, these are just pummeling through it. They aren't taking as much damage as the wooden walls, granted. And they're taking slightly less damage than the brick as well. So, yes, the steel walls are stronger, but they're still taking considerable amount of damage from a grenade, in my opinion anyway. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take a melee weapon, we're going to take a super sledge, this is a high level super sledge, and we're going to take out the wooden wall to see how much it takes. Now, so four frag grenades and two hits with that, takes a wooden wall away. Now we're on to the barn set, it's going to be two hits again, so they're not very strong, so if you're in an area which is highly popular with AI, I would not recommend using them. Now moving on to the, met the sheet metal walls and the brick walls. These have had four grenades as well. So it's now taking what, it's two hits with a melee weapon. Three, it's probably going to take six, four, five, six, yes, yeah, six hits. Now we move on to the brick wall and the four grenades as well. Yes, I know the spread of grenade isn't great, but it's a very simple experiment to show how it's working. You can see the melee weapon is taking quite a bit of damage off it, but it's taking longer to do. So the, it's obviously a lot stronger than the sheet metal wall. Now, in theory, the steel wall should hold up to a melee weapon very well. But as you can see, it's just cutting through it as well. Now, don't get me wrong, this is a high level weapon for melee. But a lot of people are at that level now as well. So guys, this was a quick experiment just to show you exactly the durability of all the walls in the game at the minute. Now... As I said, this is so when you are building in a heavy populated AI area, you know exactly what you're going to come against. A Scorch Beast, as I've proven, melts through steel walls as well. So as I mentioned before, if you haven't already, join the Discord. The link is below. We do daily giveaways for Steam games in there. We also do 
meetups and playthroughs for any quests, anything else. It is very, very active at the minute. We've also got a trading room in there as well. So guys, thanks for stopping by and I will catch you in the next one. I'm